Untersuchung fertig? Jawohl. Nicht zum Wagen gefunden? Nein. Weiterfahren. Los. Wagen durchlassen. I went over well. They got enough hay. Why don't you sell them some horses and they'll buy more hay? I know. I'm, I'm always in the wrong business. Well, give me a ride home and I'll tell you how to get out. Sure. Come on. Give this to Heinrich. Here we go. Tomorrow morning, I'm in the horse business. <laughs> and it'll be just my luck. There'll be a shortage of hay. <laughs> hello, Chris. Hello, hello, Fritz. Who's our visitor? Oh, a salesman. He's in the kitchen with Mama. What's he trying to sell her? I don't know. I hope it's something to help me work the farm, though. You know, this is getting to be a pretty big responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> I assure you, Frau Byrne, this electric washing machine will take all the drudgery out of your life. And I guarantee it won't hurt the most delicate or uh, dainty fabrics. We haven't many dainty fabrics. No young ladies in the family. No, just four boys. Can I plug it in now? Yes, go right ahead. Now, be careful, Carl. Don't break it. My Carl. He's in love with machinery. You see all these electric lights? He put them in. He works in the radio store. Wunderbar. Now about this washing machine. There she goes. What a noise. They won't think of it. Sounds a little stiff. That motor's got to come out. Please don't make any improvements. She just came new from the factory. It's got to have oil. Now, Frau Byrne, you owe it to yourself to buy this remarkable machine. I saw one of these in an American movie once. America, great country, my young man. Spent ten years there myself. Really? Yes, ten years. Won't you allow me to leave it here for a free demonstration? No, thank you. Uh, well, I drop in to see you again. Maybe you change your mind when you think it over. Would you please help me rolling this out? Yes. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Why don't you let them leave it here, Mama? It's free. What for? You know, we could never afford to buy it. Joseph, here's a man you want to talk to. He's been to America. What city were you in? New York, most of the time. Oh. New York. A wonderful place, isn't it? Yes, indeed. I see where they've opened a new wing of the Metropolitan Museum of Art. <laughs> what? The Museum of Art. You know, that big building on Fifth Avenue. So you've been to New York? No. But I've read all about it, and I'm going there. Someday. What's stopping you? Money? Yeah, money. That stops a lot of things. Yes. But sooner or later, I'll... I'll get there. Well, when you're ready to go, look me up. I'll write you an introduction to our New York office. Maybe they can give you a job. Well, he's not a businessman. He's an artist. An artist? A great artist. Well, sure. He paints everything. Portraits, landscapes. He could sell them, too, if there was somebody around here to buy them. <laughs> if everybody thought as my brothers do, I wouldn't have a thing to worry about. But unfortunately, painting fences and barns is about the only future an artist can expect around here. Yeah, I guess so. Everybody seems to have some trouble. <laughs> Give me a good hand. Nothing. Nothing. Oh. Now be careful, be careful. Don't scratch my icebox here. Can you hold that for me? 
Well, I thank you very much, boys. I wish you luck. Thank you. If your mother should change her mind about this washing machine, let me know. All right. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. 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 How many times do I have to tell you to put things back where you find them? Oh, I forgot, Carl. You have to leave my tools alone. Mama, what do we eat? What do we got tonight? I'm starved. I'm hungry, too. But uh, I want to talk to you first. Come here. Joseph, where is Joseph? Come here. How you all have grown. Your father would be so proud of you. I remember how his mustache used to tickle. So do I. <laughs> I wish I could remember something about him. You weren't born. Well, that's not my fault. This was taken the last time he came home. And then... This came with the letter from the Emperor. Everyone said it was a great honor. So great that it was worth dying for. <laughs> Each of you has a little of him, though. You have his eyes, Carl. Chris, you have the same crazy laugh. <laughs> Fritz has his curly hair. And Joseph... You have his dreams. Do you know what he wanted to do when we first married? He wanted to go to America. That was his dream. It never came true. But you... You can make your dream come true, Joseph. Why, Joseph, that's oh, I'm wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Too. Just imagine it's going splendid. to America. Why, why, you... Uh... Come on, boys. Didn't you tell me you want your supper? Come on, help me. Come on. But I can't take this. I won't. Oh, uh, don't worry about us. We'll get along. Of course we will. We always have. But this belongs to you, to all of us. Nonsense. When you become a millionaire, you can send for us. Certainly. Be careful, Carl. Don't spill the gravy. Now, Joseph. We ask you, Lord, to bless the food we are about to receive. We thank you for all the days and years we have gathered here in love and happiness. And though in days to come we may be far apart, we hope and pray we can always be close together in spirit. Amen. Mm. Mama, do you mind if I'm served first tonight? Oh, no, no, not tonight, Carl. Tonight we serve the American first. <laughs> <laughs> you can fill up on biscuits, Carl. Yes, but just for a little while, Mama. Tell us who she is, Carl. You're too young. Mind if I go with you? No, that is if you don't go too far. Don't worry, I got a date with Anna. Night, Mama. Have a good time, boys. Goodbye, Mama. And Carl, don't be too late. I won't. Mama, when do you think I'll be old enough to take a walk? You can take a walk right now to bed. Off with you. Night, Mama. Who's the girl? Anybody I know? Or is it a girl? You know what it is. Yes, I do. But I'm glad Mama doesn't. There's nothing to be ashamed of if I want to belong to a German social club. Oh, now, come on, Carl. You're talking to your brother. No, I mean it. What's wrong with joining an organization of patriotic Germans who love their fatherland? Aren't you a little mixed up about your fatherland? We're Czechs. 
We're Germans. We've got German blood in us. That's so? I have the same blood you have, but I don't feel I have to go around belonging to social clubs. I'm surprised at you, Chris. Don't you know that something new has happened? Something exciting. For the first time in history, the German people are united under one leader. Don't you care anything about your own people? Of course I do. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Our people are here in Czechoslovakia. This is our home. We've always lived here. All I know is we've got German blood in us. And I'm proud of it, even if you're not. You ever stop to think what Mama would go through if you ever got caught? I can take care of myself. I hope so. But don't get in too deep, Carl. One of these days, you'll thank me for what I'm doing. Why don't you come along with me tonight? You might meet some of your best friends there. No, thanks. I like Anna's speeches better. Well, one night I'll take you with me if I have to carry you. for a minute, just, just so I can look at you. Oh, now, Anna. You treat me just like a wife. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, we're not married yet. Why aren't we, Anna? You know, I don't pay any attention to it, but people are beginning to talk. What do I care? I don't care either. But it has been a long time. Chris, I know I'm going to marry you. I, I don't know what it is. Something's holding me back. Maybe I'm not ready for marriage yet. Maybe I'm too young. That's it. I, I'm too young. Oh, let's wait a few months, Chris. Until my birthday. It's a long ways off. You want to be sure of me, don't you? Why don't you join us, Chris? No, thanks. We're leaving soon. I'm just getting started. I'll probably be home around sunrise. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why don't you do something about your brother? You wouldn't stay out that late for any good reason. <laughs> Listen to her. After all, it's none of my business. I don't care if you run after every girl in town. Well, not everyone. I'm very particular. Really? I don't like blondes. They remind me of you. Did you hear that? Why, you... I don't know how you'll ever manage her after you're married, Chris. That is, if she doesn't end up being an old maid. An old maid, huh? What did I say about my birthday, Chris? I'll let you know sooner, right after Joseph goes away. Maybe tonight. Now you're talking. Come on, let's dance. Nice of you all to come. 
were afraid you would miss the train. Uh, Joseph, here's a little something. Take it along. <laughs> Joseph, you can't get seasick when you take this. I have used them for years. I didn't know you ever were on a boat, Frau Sturm. I haven't, Herr Richter. But I get this rolling sensation every morning. <laughs> <laughs> Guten Tag, Frau Byrne. Guten Tag, Herr Käfer. We are a little late. I had to stop to buy something. That's very good of you, Herr Burgemeister. We couldn't stay away. After all, I taught Joseph his first ABC. And I christened him. I've brought him my English dictionary. That's very nice. It's just like me, old and full of words. <laughs> I also brought him a book that might be useful. I know how hard it is. I am glad he is going. Of course you are. And you are very brave, too. Till now. 
What did you come here for? You belong to Chris. What am I ever going to tell him? Now I know. That's what came between Chris and me. It was you. That's why I've been waiting and keep putting him off. Oh, I'm not ashamed, Carl. You shouldn't be either. We've nothing to be ashamed of. I'll tell him. No, he's my brother. I'll tell him. What are you sitting out here for, Carl? If Mama wants me, I'll be out the barn. I want to talk to you, Chris. Can it wait? No. I'm wet through. We've always told each other the truth, haven't we, Chris? Yes. Well, sometimes you can't tell the truth because you don't know it. It's all twisted up and you can't straighten it out. Was it uh, what we were talking about the other night? No, it's got nothing to do with that. Well, that can't be serious. Go ahead. We didn't know it until today. If I'd known, I'd have come to you. We ought to have known, but we didn't. There was never a word, nothing. All of a sudden, it just happened. Uh... What happened? Uh, what, what, what are you talking about? Anna. Anna? Yes. You're lying. She wanted to come here with me so we could tell you together, but... Chris, you gotta listen to me. Chris, call. Stop it. Get into the house. Both of you. Now, what's the trouble? Have you lost your voices? Why don't you speak? It's Anna. Anna. Anna and I. I know how you feel, Chris. I know how hurt you are. But you don't want a woman without love. That's all there is to a woman. You're a man, Chris. Shake hands with your brother. I'm sorry, Carl. So am I, Chris. I wish you and Anna every happiness. Thanks, Chris. What's the matter, Mama? Don't cry. It's all over now. Here, have some beer. Tell you how happy I am to have married off the first of your son. Thank you. Oh, why don't you go and dance? Come on, enjoy yourself. I knew I'd find you here. Don't eat so much. You know what happens to you. Pardon me. <laughs> That's all right, Nestor. I, I can take something else. Let me do it. You shouldn't be cooking on a night like this. Do you think I'd let anybody else do it? 
It's my son's wedding. <laughs> what does Mama mean by staying out here in the kitchen? I won't have it. <laughs> Come on, Mama, this is my dance. <laughs> Come on, Mama, you've got to. <laughs> Friends and neighbors, to the best of friends and kindest of neighbors, Frau Bern. Thank you all. Many of you danced at my wedding. I hope you'll all be here when Carl's children get married. I himmel my geese. <laughs> Who's going to be the next bride? I like it. Anna, Anna, please, 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 Anna. You're the next bride. Anna, please. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bürgermeister, have a drink with us. Oh, with pleasure. This is one time we can forget politics. <laughs> <laughs> to friendship. To friendship. Proceed. Crossing the woods. Miller is a fool. He's likely to talk. That's what we thought. Where is he now? In the old jail. Get your man, each of you. We'll meet at the usual place in ten minutes. Hi, Hitler. Please, Chris, don't, don't ask me. Never mind, I know. And I'm not gonna let you go. Are you going away? I can't help it. I must. What about Anna? You can't leave her on your wedding night. I've got to. It's my duty as a, as a German. Oh, no. I don't believe it. It's not like you. Carl? Look at me. Carl? You think I'm doing this because I want to? It's for our people. Our fatherland. No, that's not true, my son. They've been telling you lies. It was the same 20 years ago. We gave our dear ones. And when it was over, we had nothing left but our tears. Carl! going away. No, no, no. 
Oh, don't cry, dear. He'll be back soon. He couldn't help it, dear. I tried to make it look so nice. I came here every day and changed things around. It's very pretty, Anna. Carl and you will be very happy here. This was for books. Carl doesn't care about books. Our initials. They're on every one of the pillows, too. Oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't love me. Oh, yes. You know he does. No, I don't. I'm afraid he wouldn't do this to me if he loved me. He does love you. But men believe there are things more important than love. So important, they even die for them. Why don't you try to understand? I'll never understand that, never. You will, Lipschen. You will. Now, come on, little girl. the coat off. Anna, quick, some hot water. I'll call the doctor. No. Yes. Yes, you must have a doctor. No, I tell you, it isn't safe. Oh. I'm not ashamed. We did what we had to do. I'll get some bandages. Come. It's nothing. I'll be all right. Carl. Please don't be angry, Anna. Angry? I'm not angry. It's because I understand now. I should have told you. I should have trusted you. It doesn't matter now. I'll follow you wherever you go. I'll do anything you want. I'll be anything you want. Always. He's a wonderful child and looks just like Carl. <laughs> He's mad because it says he looks like me, and I don't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> what a temper, just like you when you were a baby. <laughs> Read the rest of it, Mama. Yes, my darling. I was terribly worried about you during the trouble in Austria, but 
Uh, go, go ahead, go ahead, Mama. But now everything seems settled. I know you are safe. I am getting on fine, and I am very happy. I have just lost my job. Oh, read the next line, Mama. It was not the right thing for me. Yeah. <laughs> I have... Shh. It's asleep. Good night, Mama. I'm going to check my reports. Good. Good, Good night, night, Mama. Mama. Now, you run along, Fritz. I want to read it carefully. You mean you want to read it a hundred times? You know everything, don't you? Now, who could that be? I believe Carl Byrne lives here. Yes, sir. Be good enough to call him at once. Go upstairs, Fritz, and tell Carl. Come in, please. Don't be alarmed, Frau Byrne. I assure you, your son will be most flattered by our visit. Will you wait in here? It's a little chilly. I'll fix a fire. Thank you. Don't worry. You can always trust the German mother. I uh, hope so. I thought I heard someone come in. People are there to see Carl. What do they want at this time of the night? I don't know. I'll take that, Mama. No, I can't do it. I think I'd better. Be careful. Are you another of our Burns sons? Yes, I am. May I inquire how many of you there are? Three of us. There's another one in America. Splendid. We need young men like you. What for? Well, I think that's obvious. It's too obvious. What? Why don't you stay on your own side of the border? Sorry to keep you waiting. Not at all. We had a short but most illuminating conversation with your brother. And now, my young friend, if she'll leave us, we'll get to business. Your brother has some rather old-fashioned ideas. I'm afraid he has, sir. He'll change. We have come here because it is no longer safe to go directly to your superiors. They are too closely watched. You will transmit my instructions. Now be good enough to carefully memorize everything I say. Yes, sir. No. No. Fred, go to the Burgermeister. Tell him to bring the police. I'll hold them until they get here. No, you can't do that. I can't do anything else, Mama. If we don't report them, we're traitors, too. But he is your brother. Go on, Fritz, hurry. Don't go, Fritz, don't. I agree with Chris, Mama. It's our duty. Duty? Is it your duty to hurt each other? I'm sorry, Mama, I've got to go. No! Where are you going, Fritz? He's gone for the police. Get away from that door. Go on, Fritz. You hear me? Get away from that door. Children! Children! Why don't you kill me too? Put that away. And don't carry it until you can keep your temper. 
You'll have plenty of chance to use it. Later. I fully respect your feelings, Fabian. The true feelings of a German mother. What do you know about my feelings? What right have you to come here and set my sons against each other? Please go and leave us alone. You mustn't listen to those people. They are wrong. They are wrong for you. They are wrong for us. Go! Anna, talk to him. Tell him he is wrong. Whatever my husband does is right. stands ready to do its duty in the event of war. Our government in Prague is exploring every possibility of peaceful settlement. But we will never make a dishonorable peace which would be national suicide. In this supreme moment of crisis, the people of Czechoslovakia are united with one will and one ideal. We know the justice of our cause. We will not give way to force. We will never surrender one inch of our homeland. Long live Czechoslovakia! time you hit it right on the head is it finished just finished smithy get this in the next edition checks have mobilized you look wonderful both of you it's time to go we don't want to be late before you go there's something i want to ask of you You'll be together in the same arrangement, in the same danger. Don't let bitterness be in your hearts now. Take care of each other. Let's pray that you'll come back soon. That when you come back, there'll be nothing to quarrel about. And when there's nothing to quarrel about, I wonder what you boys will do. I wish I could go. Don't say that. Don't say that, Edward. Chris. I'd, I'd like to see Anna and the baby again. You haven't much time. Oh, you go ahead. I'll, I'll be at the barracks before you. All right. these things. Remember, the last you saw of me, I left in my uniform. Anna, if I don't come back, <gasps> you must go on with this, just as though I were here. You promise?
dark enough. I'll be able to get to the woods. And when I come back, we won't have to sneak in the dark. There'll be bands playing and flags flying. And we'll put little Carl at the head of the procession. Shh. You better hurry. If Mother hears him, she'll be right up. Goodbye, Anna. Mother, he was just fretting. coming from everywhere. Boys. All of them. Just boys. them when they marched away. You thought we were safe. Now look at them. Back without firing a shot. It's not their fault. What else could they do? It's all fixed, Mama. Come, let's go then. Thank you. Good luck. So much. Where is he? Carl didn't go. What? No. Carl and his loyal club members ran away. They sold us out. That's one of the reasons this happened. No, Chris. It's true, Mama. It, it it's not true. And you better be careful whom you accuse. Now, Anna, no matter what happened, we have a great deal to be thankful for. Chris and Carl will be home again, and we are going to have peace and a chance to live. Are we? For how long? You just wait and see. 
That'll wipe us off the map. It'll be Austria all over again. We wouldn't have let it happen. There were thousands and thousands of us, ready. We wanted to fight. They wouldn't let us do anything. We weren't afraid to die. But we never had a chance. You better not talk like that. You know what they do to people in Germany. It's going to be the same here. And if you don't like it, get out. Go away. I must stop. We can't change anything by arguing about it. Come on. Come on, sit down. Everything will look brighter after you have a good supper. Aren't you glad to see me? I am glad to see you. Even in that. Yes, I was the first to get one. I stand in good at headquarters. That's what I came to tell you. With me and the family, you've got nothing to worry about. They had your name on the list along with the others. I made them take yours off. You're safe now. If you behave yourself and listen to reason. Take off that uniform. What? You heard me. Take off that uniform. You can't talk to me like that. Things have changed whether you know it or not. I'm not a repairman in a radio store anymore. I'm an officer, a leader. So you're a leader, are you? I'll tell you what you are. You're a traitor. You betrayed your family, your people, and your country. And strutting around in that uniform, making believe you're a hero, doesn't fool me one bit. I know what you are, and I hate you and everything you stand for. Well, Mama? Carl, I... 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 Anna, pack your things. We're getting out of here. Oh, no, Carl, you come to go. I'll be back for you and the baby later. Carl, please, sit down for a minute. Let's talk. There's nothing more to say. Please go after him. Let him go. He said they had a list. That means Capek and the Burgermeister. All the others. I've got to warn them. I'll go with you. No, please. You stay here. No. Don't go, Ida. What you're going to do is dangerous. That's a chance I'll have to take.
Da war ein Schack bei der Tür. Durchsucht das Haus noch einmal. Bob! Nothing, Mom. Get me to the bar and hide me. Hide you? Yes, you have to. I shot one of them. Lean on me. As soon as I get some rest, I'll go. No, no, you'll stay here. I can't, Mom. If they find me, they'll take it out on you. No, they won't find you. How, how did it happen? I saw him take Kate back away. And I ran to the Burgermeister. And he was dead. I tried to get away through the swamp. But they were following me. Then one of them was near me. And I shot him. Then they don't know who did it. No. Fritz, light the lantern. All right, Mama.
Burton. You're a son for a burn. Chris? Chris isn't here. It's Carl. They will be here soon. You must be strong, Anna. Carl! Oh, Carl! Mama. He wants you. I'm here, my son. Tom, where did it happen? In the swamp. Do you know who did it? No. But have no fear, Frau Bern. We'll find him. Is there anything more we can do? No, you've done enough. Thank you, Pat, Doctor. He's asleep. I kept asking what the soldiers wanted last night. Oh, I didn't say anything. How's Carl? The doctor just left. Mama. What did the soldiers... Want last night. I've got to get away from here before they find out. I killed a man. No. No, you didn't kill anyone. Don't think about it. Shh. Just rest.
You did it. You killed him. You killed your own brother. Anna, I... I didn't know. That's why you're in there hiding. Anna. I didn't know. <laughs> no, Chris, it, it won't do any good. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the stale waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his names. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Pray. It won't help you now. I know Chris killed Carl. They tried to hide him. Chris is my son, too. I'm going to take my child and get out of here. Oh, no. He's going to pay for it. I'll tell him the truth. No. Anna, you can't hate as much as that. I'll show you whether I can or not. No, you are not leaving. You understand? One death came into this house. Isn't that enough? You are not going to tell them, Anna. You are not going to tell them. Sorry to bother you, Frau Vernon. Has anyone come to this house since we left? No one. Except the doctor. Then you won't object. We're inspecting every house along the line of March. March? Yes, the Führer himself is passing this way. You realize we must take precautions against snipers. This is a great day for us, huh, Frau Vernon? Yes, a great day. Search every room. All right, after. We must show our Führer how much we appreciate our liberation. Sorry to have bothered you, Frau Byrne. I know what a tragic night this has been for both of you. But we all want you to know how very proud we are of Carl. We won't disturb you again. Abtritt. Abtritt! No, wait, they've got him hidden! Why? Why? I don't care, I want you to! Robert. Chris did it! No! Silence! What did Chris do?
Dear Mama, I am doing everything possible to bring you and Fritz to America. My friends on the newspaper are using their influence, even our men in Berlin. I have sent money for your passage to the International Relief Office in, in Geneva. Perhaps our old friend, the pasta, can help you. You can depend on me. I am in contact with the people who are doing this work in Switzerland. If you only could help us. You must realize, however, Frau Byrne, there are serious difficulties. Oh, we don't want you to have any trouble on our account. Oh, don't worry about me. All I know nowadays is trouble. Auf Wiedersehen, Frau Byrne. I'll do my best. Bye, Fritz. Bye. Joseph is such a good boy. You're a good boy, too. my son. His name is Fritz Byrne. I have brought him something. You might find him at the station, Mother. They leave tonight at 11. Thank
I humbly ask you, Lord, to bless this food. May I never cease to be thankful for the love I have known. May I have with me always the memory of the happiness and laughter around this table. May I always be chosen. Fritz. Fritz. Carl. My boy. I am the luckiest woman in the whole world with four such wonderful sons. I am so grateful. Where are you going? No, you stay. You stay here. Stay, st stay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Frau Bern. Seems like a long time ago that we talked of your going to America. I'd forgotten all about that. I didn't forget. At last I received word that you are free to go. Has your permission to, to leave? Thank you, but I can't go now. What will Fritz say when he comes back and doesn't find me? He won't come back. Somewhere in Poland. Fritz was killed in action. errand which gives me great pleasure. I have the honor to present to you the Iron Cross, which the Führer himself awarded to your son Fritz for fighting valorously on the outskirts of Warsaw for the liberation of Poland. It is the second time in my life I received this honor. Remember the first, first time? Yes, of course I do. I was only a boy, but I remember your husband very well. He was a real friend to me. He gave me my first shot in his shot. However, Frau Byrne, we mustn't permit ourselves to think of the past. We must think only of the future. Hi, little.
What do you want? I want that baby. You can't have him. He belongs to me. No, he belongs to them. Listen to me, Anna. Listen to me just for a moment. Let's forget what happened between us. That child wants to live. He's living? Yes, for a minute. That's right. Hold him close, Anna. Isn't it wonderful that we can give that life? Hold him tight, Anna. He belongs to you. Even when he grows so big that you can't lift him, he'll still be yours. But you won't have him anymore. Is that what you came here for? To torture me? To tell me the things that are driving me crazy? Don't you think I know all that? Don't you think I live in dread for the day when he'll be old enough for them to come for him? I cried the day he started to walk. I'm afraid to see him grow up. But what can I do? What can any of us do? We can leave. Leave? Yes. Joseph wants us. I brought you some of my special pills, Frau Bern. I have never been at sea, but... I know. You get that rolling sensation every morning. Thank you. Don't you know me? Well, Capric. We didn't know where you were taken. I've just been released. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad. Say hello to Joseph for me. Give him a message from his old teacher. Tell him. Barbed wire can't hold the spirit of man. <laughs> 